Looking for regional voices to give us different narratives on the ocean, we visited Malta, where the annual course of the International Ocean Institute on Regional Ocean Governance had just been completed. These are five uh, participants from our training course uh, who have shown uh, a great capacity for uh, understanding the holistic picture of ocean governance. And they, they are experts in their own right, in their own specific field. And they have been exposed to the wider picture of ocean governance. And in ocean governance, we normally mean uh, the management of human relations sustainably with the ocean and coast. We see, as Elizabeth used to, to say, we look landward from the ocean and we see the connection. And their expertise um, is, um, has been widened, not in the sense of they become more expert in their areas, but in the sense how they are impacted by others in, in, in managing the, uh, our ocean relationships and how they impact others. So they get a feeling for the management of, of, of our oceans in a much wider perspective, in a, in a holistic way. How do people in your country see the ocean? Uh, you know, there is a very famous song in China that means, uh, Can I sing? <laughs> 小时候, mama that means, uh, when uh, a person in his childhood, her mother or oh, his mother tell him, uh, ocean is one's hometown. Yes, ocean is important for everyone. You know, uh, if you live not in the coastal city of the, um, not in the coastal city, but you are impacted by the ocean, the rain is the moisture from the ocean and such impact, you know. So, Chinese government uh, take very important in ocean governance. China has a long coastal line and the big sea areas. Kazakhstan uh, is a landlocked country, uh, so we are very far away from the ocean. Um, but uh, so so far, the concept of uh, sustainable development is not really uh, is not has not really taken off in the Caspian region. Um, but I think it's started uh, it started recently, and um, but people need to be uh, educated more about environmental awareness issues. Yeah, we have a very strong relation with uh, with the ocean. You know, we have like sixty percent of the population which is living in the can say in the in a strip of uh, one hundred kilometers. So it's very near from the sea. So this implementation shows that we are all Algerians want to have their part in. Uh, in the sea, but unfortunately, this causes big problem to uh, the coastal area. Turkish people' cultural perspective regarding the ocean is uh, is interesting. Uh, although Turkey is surrounded by seas completely, uh, the ocean's true value and its potential was never very well grasped by Turkish people, and its governance was neglected throughout history. Uh, after settling in Asia, we considered the seas as a hostile environment and uh, we turned our back to the oceans. I can give also another example on land inheritance, especially on the southern east, southern west coast. Uh, most fertile inland lands were inherited by male children while the less valuable, I mean considered, uh, lands were inherited by female children. <laughs> but today, ironically, uh, those coastal zones worth fortunes thanks to the coastal tourism. So everything is changing, especially in economics. So the, the perspective is also changing on the positive side, because now Turkey is becoming a major uh, actor in shipping, fisheries and coastal tourism, so the 
cultural relationship will also develop by time. What are the main challenges with respect to the ocean? Uh, one of the uh, main challenges of the Caspian Sea is the unsettled uh, legal status uh, of the Caspian Sea and uh, the inability of states uh, to determine the legal status of the Caspian Sea affects the development of the region, uh, especially development of oil and gas uh, resources. Uh, it also uh, complicates uh, the responsibilities uh, for the environmental protection uh, of the sea. Uh, secondly, uh, the government capacity is low, is genuinely low uh, in, ter um, in terms of uh, scientific and technical knowledge. Also, uh, governments are also weak uh, in effectiveness and uh, uh, in response to government, government performance. Uh, there is also a need uh, for improved public participation and uh, in involvement. The big difficulty, I think, is coming from the um, uh, political issues. I think um, maybe uh, some governments or some people are, are aware of the of the opportunities or challenges in, in the ocean, but the political issues are controlling some, some other, uh, other issues that, uh, that we, cannot, uh, we cannot solve it by the, by the management or uh, governments. Yeah, so I think that uh, the climate change is uh, one of the big issues that ocean will have to face. Um, so I'm living in a Mediterranean basin which is uh, well known that it will be a hotspot of climate change. For example, uh, in the southern Mediterranean countries, we have a problem of scarcity of water, and this climate change will um, decrease uh, the quantity of precipitation and uh, rainfall. A uh, high population is living all around the basin. So with the sea level rise, I think that it will be a, a huge problem that um, countries and states will have to uh, to mitigate, to find a solution perhaps to relocate them or something like this. And also many uh, important uh, industri industrial uh, structures are on the, on the coast of uh, the, the challenges for the implementation of these goals are, I think there is two, and one it's uh, economic pressures on the oceans and the other trust boundary issues. Where do you see possibilities for improvement? Well, uh, maybe participation programs, also maybe the education in high schools, because I think even, it's very important for youth, because I think youth is not uh, really aware of all the issues. I think firstly they have to implement it in elementary, middle, high schools, and universities, um, such programs. Education. 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 The, the involvement of uh, the concept of sustainability in, in every single uh, detail in our lives, sustainability of the, of the marine resources, I think we, it will be easy uh, to govern and manage, manage the ocean. Most important thing is to make a harmful relationship between human and ocean. I don't think it is better to protect the ocean, just keep the person out of the ocean, or oh, you cannot use the ocean, or oh, I want to just protect the ocean. It's not good. And we can use the ocean scientifically, and we can protect the ocean. At the same time, we get resources from the ocean it could be harmony relationship. We can improve the cooperation with the scientists, with the political decision makers, and also we have to make more awareness to the sensitivity of the ocean for the population. So I think the population have a big importance in ocean management because these populations are living in the coastal zone and the ocean areas. The, well, the, the one goal for now at this I think should be the sus sustainable use of the ocean because um, with all the uh, environmental problems or considered problems is in, at hand 
uh, we should have the obligation to preserve it for the future generations. So the one, the most important thing is the sustainable, sustainability and sustainable development.